So some interesting facts to share with you today on the Amish and food. This is taken from a book called Nature and the Environment in Amish Life. It's a book by David McConnell and Marilyn Loveless, written about the Holmes County, Holmes and Wayne County, Ohio, Amish community. They are looking at four different groups of Amish here, uh, the four major groups there, which are what you might call the Old Order, the New Order, the Andy Weaver or Dan Church, and the Swartzen Trooper Amish, that's the most conservative group, uh, in comparison to the non-Amish people that live in that area. So just a little background there. Let's jump into these five surprising facts on the Amish and food. First one, Amish order pizza and other delivery food more than you might think. And now, according to the survey that the authors did for this book, uh, the Amish order pizza and other uh, home-delivered meals about twice as often as non-Amish, which is kind of surprising, right? Uh, now, that number will vary across the different groups. The Old Order Amish affiliation, now the Old Order is kind of the mainstream biggest group there in Holmes County, they will order delivery about 10 times as often as the very traditional Swartz and Trooper Amish group. Now, on the other hand, non-Amish people in that community eat out a lot more often than the Amish do, over six times as often. And now when you think about this, it actually kind of makes sense that if you can get a meal delivered somehow, that can be especially convenient when you uh, rely on the buggy or you know, you, you're know you relying on Amish taxis to go any uh, distance, uh, you know, for example, to go eat out with your family for an evening. So, so Amish are ordering uh, pizza and other delivery food than more than we might expect. Number two, the Amish can a lot. By can, I mean canning food, canned goods. So that fact is by itself is probably not much of a surprise. We've all seen the uh, pictures of Amish basements full of canned goods. What's kind of interesting here, though, is they do canned things that you might not think of as traditional canned goods. Like when I think of canned goods, I think of like green beans and peaches and those sorts of things beets, but they actually, they, they, they do can a wide variety of meat. And you'll see that in, in some of these photos here. So meats they can include hamburger, chicken, venison, trail bologna, bologna, bologna. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a type of bologna that is um, common in that area and meatballs. Now, Amish people typically grow the vegetables, which they can but they will buy uh, the fruits, commonly will buy the fruits. Some Amish people even can things like pineapple, for example. So probably not growing pineapples in Ohio, so that explains that. The authors found that on the whole, Amish people can a lot more than uh, English or non-Amish people do, at least six times as much. Why do Amish can so much? Well, they have a more limited, generally, options for refrigeration and freezing. And of course, they also have large families, so they need to have a steady supply of food uh, throughout the year, throughout the winter. So canning is a very economical and practical way for the Amish to do that. Number three, and this is about the Swartz and Trooper Amish, the most conservative group in the community there. The Swartz and Trooper Amish gardens are actually seven times larger than other Amish gardens. So kind of related to this canning point as well. So seven times larger gardens, that actually suggests that the Swartz and Trooper Amish, maybe they're more self-sufficient in some ways than other Amish because they're growing more of their food. It's a really interesting survey because it you know, we don't, some people think of the Amish as one monolithic group, and they're definitely not that. And in this community in Holmes County, it's actually one of the most, uh, probably arguably the most diverse Amish community uh, in the world. So this type of a study just shows the differences that aren't so obvious on the surface, even you know, daily habits, food, diet, those sorts of things. With their large gardens, the Swartz and Trooper Amish actually can uh, over twice as much as other Amish people do. And how much is that? Well, they found that it's around 1,000 quarts of vegetables, fruit, and meat each year. One other point on the Swartz and Trooper Amish, point four. Uh, Swartz and Trooper Amish also eat a lot of eggs. So how many eggs do Amish people eat? How many eggs do uh, Swartz and Trooper Amish people eat? Well, they average eating uh, 12 plus eggs per person per week compared to other Amish who ate less than half that, around five or six per person per week. And English people in the area ate less than that even, around four eggs per week. So the Swartz and Trooper Amish 
people are going through 12 eggs per person per week. If you have a household of, uh, let's say they have 10, two parents and eight children, that would be 120 eggs per week, per household per week, I should say. So you need to have a lot of chickens working over time to keep that, those numbers going. I don't know if that's good for the cholesterol or not, but um, it is what it is. So last point, number five, the Amish eat junk food too. So I just got done talking about uh, Amish growing a lot of their own food, doing a lot of canning. They do that. They do they do like uh, natural foods. And I think people have maybe a picture that the Amish eat some, I don't know, some all natural or pristine diet. And some Amish are much more health conscious, but many Amish people like junk food as well. You know, they enjoy soda, they enjoy chips, they enjoy candy, some of them. Uh, so, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll buy foods from stores that we non-Amish people shop at, at Costco, at Walmart. They'll go to the discount grocery outlets that are common in their communities and pick up food, breakfast cereals, those kinds of things, potato chips, soda, cupcakes. The authors in the book quote an old order mother who was concerned about processed foods in Amish school children's lunches. So she kind of saw this trend within her own community that is has obviously been going on in the non-Amish community. She said that pastries, pop, cheap cookies, ho-hos, packaged sausage, they live cheaply, but they eat unhealthy. That is something you're going to see in uh, some Amish families. Uh, not all Amish families, but the Amish people have sweet tooths too, and you know they enjoy junk food too. Now, I don't know that they would eat as much junk food as the average uh, non-Amish household. I kind of doubt that, but there's nothing, there's no Amish rules against uh, having a can of soda or anything like that. Uh, so uh, there's no ordinum uh, regulation there. So I've got one last bonus fact, number six. Now the authors, they surveyed over 150 Amish families in the community. How many of them were vegetarian, would you guess? A grand total of zero. That fact right there doesn't really surprise me, okay? I don't know that I've yet met an Amish vegetarian, although I'm pretty sure there must be someone out there that fits that category, maybe even Amish vegans, we don't know. So let me know what you thought of those facts. Uh, again, that's just about the Holmes County Amish community, but again, it's an interesting survey, uh, interesting place to look at because you have uh, you know, very many different groups of Amish to to compare there. Maybe you have noticed some interesting uh, Amish diet thing or surprising thing you saw as far as the Amish and food. Uh, would love to hear about that. Talk to you soon.